we can also divide quantitative data types further. I assume most of my positive interactions occur with older dogs, as they've had more time to train. The age of a dog is a continuous quantitative data type, while the number of dogs I interact with is a discrete quantitative data type. In the world, we kind of make all data discrete, so it can be difficult to see the difference between discrete and continuous. Continuous data can take on any numeric value, including decimal values, and sometimes even negative numbers. The age of a dog in this situation is an example of continuous data, as we could split this variable into smaller and smaller pieces, and still something exists. For example, we could talk about age in terms of years, or months, or days, or hours, or minutes, or seconds, and still there are units that are smaller. This is true of continuous data. However, discrete data, like the number of dogs, only takes on countable values.